Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So I thought that today I would pop on a video of my Aldi food haul. I popped there this morning for a couple of bits and I've ended up doing my weekly shop there. I actually forgot to book a Tesco delivery slot on Sunday, which I normally do for the coming week. And rather than wait until later in the week, I thought I will just pop there today, which is Wednesday, and just try for the first time to do my actual weekly shop there. So that is what I did. So I really hope you enjoy. Uh, yeah, I, this week I have done what feels like a gigantic shop. I thought I would start this end and I will just show you what I got today. So to start with, I have got two of these size four nappy pants just for my daughter. She's only 14 months, but I just think the nappy pants fit her better. I think we're going to give these a go and then we'll stick with the Mamiya Ultra Dry Nappies for night time. So lots and lots of nappies today, that's why we've got those. And then I just picked up a big box of the Sensitive Mamiya White. I think they were 2 85 for a big box of six, which seems really, really cheap. So that was good. And then a box of balsam tissues because my son started school a grand total of three days ago and is already coming down with the Lurgy. I got one of these PJ Masks hoppers. I think you could, we used to call them a space hopper. I assume that's what they still are. I'm starting to put away for Christmas, to be honest. And this was one of the things I got today, $2.99. My son's got one around his grandparents' house and absolutely loves it. So I thought I would get one for his stocking. And then a couple of bits for my younger daughter, who's only one, which is like a bath squirter and one of these fishing nets, which you can take to the swimming pool or the beach. And yeah, you can catch the fish. I actually got my son one of these and he still loves it now. We buy some of the small miniature pretend fish off Amazon and he puts them in the pool and scoops them out. When we went away on holiday last year, he was having a whale of a time with all the other children at the hotel. Um, so I thought, yeah, I'm gonna get one of these. I think these were only 2 99 which is amazing. Just two presents. I'm not gonna go mad for Lucy, to be honest, or well, either of them really, because she's only 14 months. She's gonna be 18 months at Christmas. She's gonna know nothing about it. And I just think things like this are great for popping in the stocking. And then a baby shampoo, a two-in-one conditioning shampoo. We tend to use this one as more of a body wash, to be honest, because it's really gentle. And then a conditioning shampoo as well, because my kids have crazily thick hair, so they need conditioner already. Pack of the Organics Mini OT Bites. These were all in the special buys this week, so I ended up coming out with things like this. And then two of the OT bars, a carrot cake and a raspberry and apple, because they're always a firm favorite. I tend to only go to Aldi maybe once a month, to be honest, so I thought I will stock up today and then I won't need to go back for a while. So a pack of the mini chocolate chip cookies, they're just in individual bags and they're perfect to take out for a treat. Similar snack here, the Safari snacks. A Toy Story 4 Busy Book, I think they call them. Again, I'm putting away for Christmas. My son absolutely adores Toy Story and he's got quite a few Toy Story 4 themed presents in his stocking this year, but I couldn't resist this one with all the characters. That was only, it says it was 6 99 but it was actually in the special buy at 5 99 I'm pleased that I've got a few more presents today. A pack of, well, basically like fruit shoots, I guess. These, there's eight of those, and we tend to stick with water with our kids, but occasionally they can have a treat or if they've got friends around. A whole milk, a semi-skim milk, uh, some of these breakfast biscuits. I'm really, really struggling at the moment with the kids having breakfast. It's absolutely horrendous trying to get them to eat before we have to leave to take Leo to school. And I just think if I can get a banana and a couple of breakfast biscuits in, then it's better than nothing, but really far from ideal. But the struggle is real in this house at the moment in the mornings. A six pack of fromage fray and then these chew bits just because my son prefers the tubes really at the moment. I think his friends have them sometimes and he thinks they're wonderful. And then just a six pack of low fat pockets. As you can see, this is not particularly Slimming World friendly, this shop. I have got quite a few bits in already for Slimming World and the latter end of this shop will be a bit more Slimming World friendly, but in the main, this is more of a kind of kiddie shop, I would say this time, which is why it's not particularly Slimming World friendly for the majority of it a pack of pots of chop, which we've never tried before, but I'm assuming they're like the cabbage, 
caramel pots so I'm going to give those a whirl. Two of the Kinder bars just to keep in the cupboard. I tend to take a treat round when I pick my son up from school. It's his first proper week this week. He's absolutely starving hungry and to be honest he really really does need the calories. Uh, so yeah, I take something like that around there with a satsuma or an apple. Some of these Titan cake bars, which are like a Mars cake bar, which we've never tried, just to keep in their treat cupboard as well. A pack of custard creams and ginger nuts just for my husband. And then I've got a whole chicken with pork, sage and onion to do a roast chicken dinner at least once a week. We don't necessarily have it on a Saturday or Sunday, but it's there in the fridge ready. I may well just do it on Friday night with some veggies so I know that the kids are starting off the weekend with a nice sort of healthy meal. And it's also very Slim and Well friendly, a roast dinner. I often make some of the Slim and Well friendly Yorkshire puddings, which is just equal cups of egg, plain flour and semi-skim milk. And you only have to sin the flour, so I think it works out at like half a sin, maybe one sin a Yorkshire, but they come out quite nicely. So yeah, that is one of our meals in the next few days. I've got one of these Italian bolognese tortellinis. This is for the kids on a day when we're in a real rush. They just have that with some ratatouille and chopped tomatoes over the top. A bit of garlic bread and salad, and that's a nice quick meal. I got these two chicken char grills today for the kids, just because tonight we're having minted lamb steaks with roast potatoes and vegetables and they are not keen on lamb, but I want them to sort of roughly have the same meal as us. So they're gonna have one of these each with the potatoes, the veg and the gravy. So it's kind of a similar dinner, but they're not subjected to lamb, which they can't stand. So I've cooked and peeled king prawns. I thought I would make a prawn risotto at some point over the weekend, just for me and my husband, because rice is free, king prawns are free, and you can make up a tomato-based sauce, which won't be anything, or I'll get my husband to make up like a curry based sauce because he loves doing things like that and then have it with some noodles as well so that's another slimming world meal there two of the chicken breast fillets always like to have those in the freezer for any meals and then a pack of five percent fat lean beef mince again that is a staple in our house we have it in the freezer to make cottage pie spaghetti bolognese do chilies plain chilies with rice or chilies in wraps or tacos things like that so again that is always always on our list two colgate triple actions just because they were less than a pound and we're getting through toothpaste really really quickly now my son is cleaning his own teeth i think he basically just eats it um, a pack of the small bananas, a pack of British strawberries, sweet and delicious it says, so I thought I'd give those a try. And then a pack of seedless red grapes, so that's those. I didn't get an awful lot of fruit today just because we have still got some satsumas and some peaches in the fridge from last week anyway. Uh, a broccoli head, a superfood salad because it just has a bit with the beetroot strands. A four pack of baked beans because on Slimming World you pretty much live off baked beans. Some pasta, again, a staple in our house. We were running a bit low, so I thought I'd top up on that one. A pack of carrots. And then this, I had to hunt for this because they only have the golden vegetable in the freezer section, but right underneath I found a couple of bags of these. This is brilliant. I cannot think off the top of my head exactly how many sins this is, but it's not a lot. And what I do, and what I will do for a meal in the next week or so, is roast some peppers, so halve a pepper, and then stuff the pepper with these, with some garlic oil spray and some grated cheese on the top, and they are absolutely delicious. You can have them with chicken if you want, um, if you want meat with it, but I actually just like the two peppers sliced, so like four halves of peppers, stuffed with a bag of rice, some grated cheese, and a big bed of salad. So that is something I'm gonna do this week. A pasta bake, I make up a tuna pasta bake with that if I'm in a real rush. And then I got a jar of pesto because that is something that, my kids really enjoy pesto pasta with salad and garlic bread and I don't get it very often. I've never tried to make my own actually, I guess I could, but again, that's not for me. That is one for the kids. And then a nine pack of white toilet rolls. And finally, over this side, a pack of hash browns just because we sometimes have like a semi mode friendly grilled breakfast at the weekend, but it's not really fair on the others. They're not on Slimming World and they all love hash browns. All three of them absolutely love hash browns. So I have conceded feet and I've got a pack to put in the freezer so that when I have my eggs, bacon, beans, tomatoes, they can also have a couple of hash browns as well and be more than happy with that. And finally, I've got a six pack of 
classic potato crisps and a six pack of prawn cocktail. And that is everything. So I'm really happy with this shop. It came to just a shade over 70 pounds, but I just feel like I've got absolutely loads. I've stocked up with all the kiddie bits, got a few presents in there as well, and then just sort of our general shop as well. So I'm really, really pleased with that. And it has certainly come out cheaper than some of the other supermarkets. So yeah, really pleased. Thank you so much for watching my video. I really hope you enjoyed it. I will be popping my Slimming World update on for this week. I'm gonna try and film that later today and hopefully pop it on tomorrow or Friday at the latest. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, that would be absolutely amazing. Really, really love you too. I'm also over on Instagram, mama underscore hedgehog too. Thanks for watching, bye.